A rusted box pulled from the sea. Inside, gears fused by time. At first, it looked like debris, but hidden in the fragments was something impossible. A computer from ancient Greece. The year is circa 150 BCE. Hellenistic scientists build a device of bronze encased in wood. By turning a single crank, it could track the sun, the moon, even predict eclipses with uncanny precision. 2,000 years before modern clockwork, this machine existed. Recovered in 1901 from a shipwreck near Antikythera, it stunned scholars. Over 30 meshing gears, crafted with such complexity that nothing like it would appear again until medieval Europe. You, turning the dials, see cycles unfold. The sorrow cycle predicting eclipses, the Olympic calendar marking games, planetary motions mapped against the heavens, a universe in bronze, small enough to hold in your hands. But here's the mystery. Who made it? Some point to Hipparchus, master of astronomy. Others whisper Archimedes. Yet after its creation, the knowledge vanishes. For centuries, nothing like it survives. X-rays in the 21st century peel back the corrosion, Inscriptions emerge, calculations, cycles, names of planets, evidence not of myth, but of a forgotten genius, a scientific revolution, drowned and lost in the Aegean. The Antikythera mechanism forces us to question progress itself. If such brilliance existed, then what else have we lost? What breakthroughs disappeared when empires crumbled? When libraries burned, when knowledge slipped through time's fingers, the gears no longer turn, but in their silence we hear the echo of an ancient cosmos ticking away. Was the Antikythera mechanism a lone miracle of genius, or proof that entire chapters of human innovation lie buried, forgotten beneath the sea? <laughs>